I wish I could be a director and create blockbuster films from my room too. With AI you can. Let me show you how. Welcome back to Dynami AI Tutorials. Today we will be diving deep into the world of AI-driven 3D animation. You'll learn how to create realistic 3D cinematic animations, just like our previous Wes Anderson-inspired video. To start your journey, you'll need the right tools. And today's main AI animation tool is Picolabs, the heart of our 3D animation. Now, Picolabs is an AI video generator that turns text prompts and images into stunning 3-4 seconds animated videos. To start, all you have to do is to join their Discord channel. Once you're inside, you will see a bunch of generated channels where you can quickly hop into one to start prompting and creating your animations. As it is usually flooded with a lot of generations, to better keep track of your work, you could just direct message Picolabs and prompt there instead. Now, let's get into the fun part, which is animations. In Picolabs, there are two main ways to create animations. The first method is text to video. This feature lets you craft animations using your imaginations and words, just by prompting it. To make it work in Picolabs, your prompt structure has to follow the format. For instance, if you want a scene of a sci-fi car moving through a tunnel in a cinematic shot, you could just type slash create prompt, sci-fi car, moving forward, through a tunnel, cinematic shot. And I usually will give it a few tries to get the shots that I want, so do experiment with it to see what works best. Another way we can get animations from Picolabs is to use the picture to animation feature. Now this is useful if you already have scenes or pictures in mind. Else, you can always use an AI art generator like Meet Journey to generate your images. Once you have your images, type in your prompt and click the right to add your reference image. The second option which has been recently released by Picolabs is to use the animate feature whereby it would help you automatically animate your images. Now this is pretty useful as it helps you see what kind of animations could be done with your images. While dealing with most AI video generators today, the key to get the video or scene we want is how well we could prompt or guardrail the tools, and that's where Parameters comes in, to help us create more life in our video, to best illustrate what they could do. I'll start by using this example of a train I have created to showcase some of the functions briefly. To start, one of the cool parameters Picolabs provides is motion, which refers to the intensity of the movement in your video. The higher the value, the greater the movement of the action. In this situation, let's say, I want to see more movement in my train video. I would click on the remix button and add in motion four. Now let's take a look at the comparison between the different motions. You could see there's way more movement and less consistency around the train in Motion 4 as compared to Motion 0. Another really great feature you could use is negative prompts. While prompting helps us tell the AI tool what we want, negative prompts tells it what we do not want instead. Let's once again use the train as an example. In the first example to the left, with our normal prompt, there seemed to be a lot of movement going on. Warping and noises that we do not want. Now, to the right, by adding the negative prompt, it allows the train to be more stable in its movement. This is super useful to help us remove unnecessary noises or actions in our scenes. So do play around with this as much as possible, as the more specific you are with your prompts, the better the output would be. The last parameter I thought I would cover is the camera feature. This allows you to direct a scene, just like a director, by adding camera movements to the scene. Let's take a look at this example of adding the zoom out parameter into the prompt. As you can see, it helps to create a pan out camera movement within the video. If you experiment with it enough, it could be really useful in helping us create more depth within our scenes, enhancing our film creations. As I wouldn't be able to cover all the details in this video, I have consolidated them into a free e-guide, link in the description below. So do check that out as it will be very useful in your AI animation journey. Great. Now that you're a master of video, what about adding voiceovers? Fret not, there are two simple steps to this. Number one, get your voiceovers using a tool like Eleven Labs. It is one of my favorite tools to use as it has a huge library of choices for you to choose from. Once you get your voiceovers, head to Lalamoo to sync them. 
All you have to do is add your video together with your voiceovers. Once done, click sync and there you have it. Quick and easy. However, doing this step does lower the quality of the video, but no worries on that as I got you. To solve this, you may use a simple video enhancer like Topaz to help you upscale your video. All you have to do is run it through the app, select your desired resolution, and there you go. It is a paid tool, so you do have to subscribe for it, but I do think it is worth it. And there you have it, everything you need to create your very own cinematic 3D animations. All that's left now is to piece them together to create your very own AI film. So go out there and let your creativity soar, and I can't wait to see all of your new creations. Hope you like this video, and I really appreciate you for staying till the end. If you found this guide useful, do like, share, and subscribe for more AI videos, tutorials, and insights like this. Until next time, peace.